Greetings. Faulkner fixes all here. I got the helmet cam. It's less than ideal. Uh, probably could drill a hole in the front. But you don't want to drill a hole in your helmet. I could probably drill a hole in the visor part. Anyway, yeah. Yeah, it gets really steep up that way. I know this trail. It gets really steep. What we're going to do is we're just going to go back down towards the lake. And I'll go, I'll try to go fast, but I think this is going to be jamming around pretty bad. Wow. Eh. I don't like this. Yeah, that's totally less than ideal. What's happening is it's actually pretty sturdy on the helmet. But the, the liner on top. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think we're just going to hold it in my hand like we always do <laughs> helmet cam uh we'll have to work on that maybe i'll i don't mind drilling a hole in that but i already put the adhesive on here hmm. i could peel this off and put it on there but i think that's going to be pretty bumpy also okay and the mount just broke too because these things are really cheap failure for GoPro system. Yeah, this just broke. First time I ever used that and it just broke. Oh, man. GoPro. You did an F. <laughs> well, the new GoPro camera is decent. Alright, well, let's bonsai down here. Like I say, it gets really steep up that way. And what I'm noticing is the gears are decent. But they're not really for way uphill kind of stuff. That gear in the front is kind of big. Let's put it down for a second. Uh, you can you can put a Schwinn ten speed thirty eight on here, but this is really styling, and I just want to keep that on there. And you could find a bigger cog in the back, but everything's working pretty good. The fender stays are very rusty. And one of them is loose. And I don't know which one it is. I thought it was the front one. I'm not sure which one it is. Anyway, uh, let's go bonsai. This is just going to be a one-hander, as usual. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find some better system. Yeah, it was a system the guy mounted it right here. And it was pretty cool because you got to see the bike more than me jabber john uh, so let's put it in fifth and we'll go we'll go pretty fast and get down to the lake and we'll stop and maybe even go past the lake where it gets rough it's going to be fun all right let's put it into high gear here go. not ideal with one hand we're going to go fast though But we're still going to be courteous. We got the bell. Bridge coming up. Bridge coming up. Hit it hard. One-handed, baby. Oh. Yeah. See what I do for you guys? <laughs> that was a pretty good test. Yeah, there's a fender stay loose. I think it's in the front. If I do address that, I'm just gonna get some chrome stays off of a better condition girl's bike and re-drill them. Uh, yeah, if we do address that, we're gonna address it in a way where they're nice and shiny. Shiny. Wind noise. Oh yeah, we're going fast now. Woo! That was 
sweet. Got to remember not to put my thumb over the lens. It's hard to hold with one hand and deal with life. There's a car. Nice stop, buddy. Well, I didn't stop either. <laughs> hey, you didn't stop at that stop sign. Yeah, yeah. Write me a ticket. Write both of us a ticket. Okay, people coming up will be nice. Morning. Yeah, see, just be nice. Go slow around people and dogs. Guess you guys are tired of the trail lecture. What am I doing with my glasses on? Dang. <laughs> I was going so fast I had to put my reading glasses on. <laughs> no, I had them on when I was messing around with the, the mount that broke. Man, first time I ever tried to use that mount, it breaks. Not, it's not acceptable on that helmet either. We'll have to figure out something. Cause this one-handing stuff is getting old. Oh, they're doing some work down there. Huh. Yeah, this one-handed stuff's getting old. Especially with your left hand. Well, you need your right hand for your brake and your bell. <laughs> uh, so far, no complaints. The seat's a bit hard. It's a little squeaky. I forgot to spray the where the pivot points are on the springs. Uh, there's a front stay on the fender. And like I say, if I fix that, I'll, I'll do it right. Okay, we're getting ready for this downhill here. It's going to be rough. Accelerating for the downhill. People fishing over there. Oh, wait, I gotta show you guys this. Apparently, rumor has it, this is just a rumor, but back in the day, in the 70s and 80s, I guess, teenagers would uh, imbibe in various things and they would run out. It would run out here. This fence wasn't here. And they would try to jump. Um, the wimpy ones would jump over here. But some of the more aggressive, more lit up teenagers decided that they would try to... I guess this tree was a little smaller too. And it is deep down there, but you got to jump a far away. And they would try to jump all the way to the bottom there. But I guess, and this old timer told me, I don't know if he was pulling my leg, but somebody tripped on this. And they didn't make it. <laughs> so now we call this the anti-teenager fence. Yeah, probably some adults were doing it too. I mean, it sounds, it looks like you could really get going, you know. <laughs> I think I would take the Wimby way myself. But uh, yeah, looks like you could really you know, get it going on. <laughs> it probably wasn't all... I shouldn't down the teenagers. It was probably full-fledged adults doing stupid stuff. Adults do silly stuff, too. Like riding downhill with one hand. All right. Uh, so far, the bike's doing really well. I did raise the bars, and it's a little more difficult to get to this. But they are at the fullest extension now, and that's where they need to be. The seat could probably come up a little. Here we go. Oh yeah, doing good. Could go a little faster here, but not with one hand, folks. We don't want to rename the channel. 
Faulkner falls all or something. <laughs> Faulkner fails terribly. Morning. It's just another old timer like me going slow. Nice orange helmet though, that was cool. Definitely see that a mile away. The bears could see that a mile away. You know, always go riding with somebody a little slower than you during bear season. Oh, it's beautiful down there. Let's go check that out. What the heck, if I'm going to spend all day downloading this, you guys are going to see something good, besides me being silly, writing down things with one hand. Okay, yeah, this is beautiful. A log to jump on, like Fred Flintstone. You know, this is awesome. Let's live a little. You saw it here first. Faulkner fixes all. That includes getting large logs out of the way. Okay, let's try to move this. Okay, we're going to try to move this log. <laughs> Not. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a little tunnel underneath. I didn't see that before. Wow. I guess the water's got to go through somewhere. All right. We're at the Bent Creek area. We haven't crossed back into the Arboretum where uh, you have to pay to park your car or pay a yearly membership. It's actually worth it because... Uh, oh, 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 butterfly. It's actually worth it because it's a little safer parking there. Not that there's you know, criminals roaming around here, but I have heard some stories of cars getting messed with further up where we were uh, but here they patrol it and do stuff yeah hey one get a real bike <laughs> okay let's continue on we got a little battery life left See, I'm actually getting more exercise than that guy. See, I'm smarter. And my bike doesn't cost $8,000. There's no carbon fiber on here. I've got a fake carbon fiber helmet cover, though. That's loose. I think I'm going to have to come up with some better mount system. Because this one-handing stuff, it's okay for you guys, but it's a bit bouncy. And, uh... I want to go fast. I want to do jumps and do stuff because that's what I do. I'm silly. I really test these old bikes. But I can't, obviously, for obvious reasons. I was kind of bracing it against the bar a little bit. But then the video is going to be all jumpy. Uh, my brother-in-law sent me this little stabilizer thing. I got to see if I can use it with the GoPro. It kind of, it's like a little shock absorber. Now, something's got to give because this, uh, this one-handing stuff, not happening. Hey, by the way, how's everybody doing on my uh, opaque green fork? I, it's been a few people thinking they had it, but they didn't. The offer still stands. I think I've decided what bike I'm going to kick down when you find the fork. And if you're not local, then obviously you'll have to pay for shipping or something. Ah. Uh, I'll bring it up today when I do the live feed on the Copper Tone. I'll bring up the bike that I'm going to trade for a fork. The bike. And it is a boy's bike. Uh, it's a black, I think it's a black racer. And I haven't modified it to five yet. And I don't think I'm going to. It's all complete. And uh, I forget what year. But the fender stays are definitely loose. The hub shifts pretty good. It's a three speed. And I think it's got some pretty decent tires. Might be original Schwinn tires. We'll see, but that's the one I'm going to kick down. I think it's a 69 or 66. I'll have to check the number. We'll bring it up today on the live feed. All right, let's 
let's book down here and finish this video because it's getting boring, right? I'm in fifth right now. Yeah, I'm in fifth. I'm gonna probably stay in fifth till I get to the truck. All right, we're booking. We're going fast. puppy oh I didn't have the camera pointed at him that's another thing I don't like uh, I guess if I had it on the helmet mount or a solid mount they would just be in the video but you know it's their time they don't need to be I don't need to broadcast three ladies walking their puppy you know it's bad enough you guys got to deal with my my stuff nose hairs and stuff How you doing? Hey. Hey, I want to run over and eat baby strollers. Hey. Yeah, we don't want to scare anybody. It's getting a little more crowded now, even though it's a weekday. Man, the last time I was here, there was people everywhere. And, uh, it was okay, it just wasn't super enjoyable. But today is nice, it's a Wednesday. It's this like weird two week lull for the art world. Hey. Yeah, get a real bike, get a real bike. Anyway, uh, it's this weird, every year it's like the beginning. I think students, parents go back after they set their students up or in their dorm or Students got everything set and they're all good on artwork or not that students are big artwork sellers buyers, but uh, You know, I sell furniture and stuff that I make so It's kind of it's just this weird two-week lull I guess they're still working on this up here It's just just weird two-week lull where Things just grind to a halt in the galleries. And, you know, I probably do have some work with my buddy Victor. I could probably go plane some lumber or something. But you know what? I, I look forward to this two weeks. It just so happens that it's a really nice time of the year for bike riding. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a nice two weeks off, actually. I'd rather have this two weeks off than be framing a house somewhere. Or milling lumber or welding furniture. Okay, let's go fast. Okay, the rest is pretty downhill, pretty boring. I think we're going to stop at this bridge and eat some food. And uh, that's probably will do it. Uh, let's see. 14 minutes in on the part two? I don't know. Yeah, uh, we got to get a better camera mount. This is getting old. Uh, if you've seen these videos. It's basically me having a little fun and holding onto the camera near the other handlebar for dear life. Uh, let's get down to this bridge and take a break and sign off. Let's see if we can no-hand this thing. Oh yeah, it's straight. That's the test. Yeah, frame and fork are straight. If you can no-hand it in the off-road, Pretty good chance everything's straight. This bike's, uh, I just give it a straight A. Uh, well, a B minus because it's modified, but uh, I'll give it a straight A for durability and rideability. Oh, look at all these dogs coming. Oh, they got wheelchair dogs. All right. Oh. 
Hey, we got working dogs. <laughs> working dogs, working dogs. Oh, that's so sweet. I, they, I thought they were in wheelchairs, but they're actually just being trained, I guess, to haul loads. That's awesome. I think I should try that with my dogs. What do you, how do you think that would go over? No. Yeah, what do you think they're training for? Carry the wine, that's important. Yeah. Yeah, was it a little rum cast or something like the yeah. cartoons or yeah. Well that won't last long, so they're gonna have to care more. <laughs> I thought they were in wheelchairs. I was gonna say, hey, thanks for you guys for bringing them out, even though they're and then they weren't they were Well when they were taking them out, I thought maybe that one of the dogs was handicapped because it kind of yeah. looked like one of those things yeah. that you don't have to that's what I meant. I thought they were in the little walkers, but uh -huh. their legs are fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have a good day. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to sign it off. This bike has done very well. Uh, I give it an A. This is a little stream down here. Uh, if you come here uh, and you bring your dog, it has to be on a leash at all times. I was, a couple years ago, I was bombing around here on some beat up, I don't know what I forget what it was, some really, I think it was a Huffy All Pro or, oh, it, was, it was an All Pro bike. I guess it's made by Montgomery War. I can't remember who makes an All Pro, who sold the All Pro. It's just basically a, a Murray or a Huffy with a sticker on it. Anyway, I was testing and it wasn't that great and I wasn't going that far so I stopped here and there was a guy down here with his pit bull with no leash and I saw this ranger coming in this green truck going really fast and he went past here and stopped and I yelled down to the guy hey hey put your dog on a leash you know he was down here in the water and he's like what what are you he's not bothering anybody I was like dude if you should put it on a leash and the uh the ranger heard me and looked at me, and man, he was so mad. It, the, if looks could kill, he was so ticked. I got on my bike and immediately rode down that way. And when I looked back, he was he was getting his ticket book out, so it's like a $75 fine. Anyway, man, if looks could kill. I was just trying to warn the guy, hey, I guess it would have been too late because the ranger already saw him off the leash. I don't know, but the guy was kind of a jerk too. Like, no, he's not hurting anybody. <laughs> It's going to be hurting your pocketbook. Anyway, I think this is where we're going to stop it. Uh, pretty good video. We saw some, I thought those dogs were in wheelchairs, but they, you know, the, for their helping their back legs. Huh. They spelled gauging wrong. Huh. I thought gauging was G-A-U-G-I-N-G. -G -G. Huh. Did the government spell gauging wrong, or is that how you spell it? No, I got a D in English. I should know. I was building race engines with my dad instead of studying, but even I know that's wrong. I think. I'll have to check on that. I did get a D in English. Okay, so yeah. Hey, Faulkner fixes all. If you haven't subscribed yet, you should. This is fun. I work on bikes till midnight. I have live feeds. I make a mess of the living room, and my dogs get plenty of treats because they're really good dogs, and they're not here today because... That would be exciting, trying to control those two ruffians on leashes. Anyway, have a good day.